Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I truly appreciate it. We're trying something a little new tonight. We went back to 720 recording. So let me know if you like this. I've had a lot of comments, people asking when I'm working with the screen if I can make that bigger. So let me know if this works out for you. Please put that down in the comments. So what we're going to talk about tonight before we get to some configuration videos, we are going to be doing edge router to micro tick IPsec. I finally have my own uh, Synology NAS. We've got a bunch of things that we're going to be doing, a bunch of edge router stuff too. I've got some SSL certificate for edge switch coming up. But let's get to tonight's topic, which is the Unify Debug Terminal and why I like this tool and why it's so powerful. So let's get over here. This is our cloud key, and I just upgraded it to 5.6.30. And I think I just typed the wrong password. Maybe not. And so we're over here under devices. And we've got the Unify APAC mesh. And it's actually it's behind me. You can see it right there. And I will tell you, what I really like about this debug terminal is it does two things for us as administrators. It, well, it does at least two things for us as administrators. One, if we're troubleshooting a problem and we need to get in behind the scenes and see what's going on with an access point or a switch, because you can, you can get to this on the access point or the switch, um, it will allow us to get into some nooks and crannies that you can't get into from the Unify controller itself, like where the log files are stored and, and things like that. The other reason that I really like it is because if you have no other access to the network and you need to kind of look around the network and see what's out there or even move some files around, things like that, you can actually do it through the debug, can, the debug terminal because it, it gives you access to a Linux prompt. So if you don't know Linux, this is also a good time to just play around and get to know a little bit of Linux. So let's get back over to it. So we're going to go over to our, our Unify APAC mesh. And we're going to click on that, and we're going to go to Config, and then we're going to go down to this Debug Terminal, and then we're going to hit Open Terminal. Now you're going to see some negotiation happening between the device and the Unify software. Once this negotiation happens, then we will have access to a prompt. Okay, so that, that took just a second, but you can see that we are now at a Linux prompt and we are inside of that mesh access point. Now this will work whether you're directly connected to the controller or if you're connected through the Ubiquity Cloud Access which is the unify.ubnt.com. As long as everything is set up properly you should be able to get to this prompt. And so what can we do while we're here? We can do a ping and that's not going to work. But this one will work. So there, we're pinging, we're pinging my edge router. We can go into the var log directory, and we can look at the um, the messages that are in there. We can actually copy and paste from here into you know a text pad or a notepad or something on our PC. We can also uh, ping from or uh, paste from our machine into this we can look at this so scp is active so here's another use case and i actually just used it like this the other day now i'm always talking about how i don't really like the json file and i don't this customer wanted to see if something would work and we were having a conversation so we dumped the usg config file to the temp folder on the usg and then i used scp because we had no access to a desktop i used scp to get it to an access point and then i was able to get the file where i needed from the access point so from that point of view it was great being able to get to it and i used this debug this debug terminal a lot, whether I'm pulling logs for Ubiquity or whether I'm, you know, SSHing into other devices inside the network. So you'll also want to make sure that you have strong passwords because if somebody gets into your Unify controller, 
they can get into this console, they have a lot of access to your network. So make sure that you're using appropriate passwords. If you've got your devices on the Ubiquiti Cloud, make sure you've got two-factor authentication enabled. You should always use two-factor authentication where possible. So what else can we do? So we, I mean, we literally have full you know, reign of this, uh, just like we were SSH into it. So I ran an info. You can see the IP address, the host name. You can see how long it's been up. You can see where it's connected to as far as the controller. And if we uh, navigate around, you can see that we have access to the entire system. Now, here's something else. So I talked about SSHing or SCPing. So let's take a look at an example of that. So we have a DNS server, which is 192.168.66.10. It's actually a lot of servers. It's a DNS server. It's a webmin server. It's a UNMS server. It's a Unify server. It's got Unify voice over IP. It's got the uh, Unify EOT. I don't know what it doesn't have. Probably that, that list is shorter. But what we want to do is if we want to log into that or even SCP files over to it. So I did SSH, my username and the IP address, and then it's going to ask me, and I totally just messed that password up. It's going to ask me what my password is. I'm going to put my password in, and now I am directly into that Linux server. So now I could transfer files there. I could do all kinds of interesting things. So I type exit and I'm back. So here is my notepad plus plus and this is going to mean absolutely nothing but I'm just going to type a little text in there and I'm going to copy this and if I come over here I can paste it and if I do a you know I can I can copy and paste this just like I did. So that's it. That's the that is the the debug terminal. It's a useful tool. Play around with it. Learn to love it. Learn some Linux. If you ever need to get around inside of a network, that is a gem of a tool. Plus, if you ever need to provide troubleshooting information to me or to anyone else who's helping you troubleshoot your Unify gear, that little debug terminal, I mean, I have clients who are literally a half a world away, and I get around inside of their edge routers and their edge switches and everything else because they've got that on site. And so they don't have to expose certain things to me. I don't have to have a VPN. I can get in and do everything I need to through the CLI. But that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please copy and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, you can click the link down there to h5llc.com. You can also contact me for consulting and best practice of network design and deployment and our discord link is down there you can stop by say hi to charlie that's our administrator he does an awesome job i'm looking forward to giving away the cloud key at 20,000 subscribers my amazon link is down there so if you need any gear you can use that and it's always appreciated and as always we'll see you in the next video